hi crocheters of the world in this tutorial i want to show you how to crochet this design of mine of a jewelry scarf i really really enjoy this kind of scarves i'm sure you know what i'm talking about because it's a concept that uh, mm, it is in the fashion style for years or uh, already and it's so so beautiful now it can be worked with any kind of yarn even with wool and actually i want to this is the very first design that i made but there will be others because i really love it i think it's just perfect even as gift or i don't know for sale and so on it's just lovely now let me explain you a little bit this is the very first that i did so we have the scarf and i work it with the solomon knot and the part of the necklace let's say it is worked like this with some uh, some pearls and um, with um, this kind of flowers with solomon knots and that's it uh, first of all we work the scarf and then we work the part of the necklace and then we add them uh, together we just uh, join the, the two parts okay to create the scarf and this is the very first now this is the second actually the one that i am working on the tutorial and these two are worked with the linen yarn from our shop now uh, this one is exactly the same thing only that i uh, joined it with it with these end cups and it looks better and i also put some beads actually uh, i want to create because it's it's the linen yarn that i think it, it uh, goes better with uh, wooden wooden uh, beads it creates a uh, shabby chic effect i think or bohemian boho chic maybe better actually maybe yes it is this is the 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 word so boho chic bohemian chic and i think it, it looks just great so this is the scarf that it comes exactly around the neck and then is the the jewelry part that embellish it it's it's super um, this is um, simple really really simple it's the very first that i made but this one is just lovely and in the tutorial of course i explain you how to put the beads and all now this one it's really more a jewelry than a scarf i work it with the tulip yarn really lovely yarn it's not easy to work with because it's so so soft and silky uh, but uh, look at it look at this scarf now isn't it just lovely even for this we have the the scarf that it goes all around the neck and then the necklace okay so this is actually the concept that i wanted to to obtain and uh, and i i actually um began with this is the concept that i had into my mind and uh, then it it um, came out the the design the the creation obvious so this is it uh, even here i put the end cups to join the two parts together and here i really really um lo uh, love this this um there are two two strands of the same pattern and uh, i put this and also uh, and of course i put crystals here so there are bicons and crystals because obvious it's um uh, it's more jewelry it's more fancy it's fancier let's say than this these are very boho chic this is really really fancy it can be just perfect for a evening dress or yes something like this but uh, now let's see how to work this is the tulip yarn and these are the linen in both colors and for the tulip i use the two millimeters hook for the linen i use the three millimeters hook and of course you need some beads and uh, i will tell you all in the tutorial step by step uh, i put the link below of the yarns you can find all of them into our shop so let's get started so first of all i will give you some suggestion for the yarn to choose you can choose actually 
mostly any kind of yarn even wool if you want to but I'm working with the linen yarn or you can work with this beautiful tulip yarn it's lovely 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 for jewelers or actually this kind of scarf that it's uh, is um, a jewelry scarf actually so it would be just lovely okay but this one work it with a crochet hook from 2 to 2.5 millimeters okay if you want to work with this I'm working with linen and with 3 millimeters hook and we will begin uh, with the Solomon knot a part of the scarf so I will so a number, even a odd number of uh, Solomon knots we need to work. This is one. I just like to work them nice and short. Let's say two millimeters more, uh, two centimeters. Sorry, more or less. Four, five, six seven, eight, nine and I will stop here so with nine I will begin my scarf. Now always begin a new row with two Solomon knots one and two. So I work these two and I will join over the last two of the first row. So one, two, so there are four, okay, like this. Insert hook into the single crochet and join together. This is what I obtain. Now I will go ahead and work two and skip two. until the last Solomon knot because I will have because I have a odd number I will have one at the end two again skip two and again one and two skip two and as I said we remain with one and over this one we will just work one like this okay so leave it exactly as it is like this now as I said each row begins with one uh, begins with two Solomon knots and finish with one Solomon knot one and two turn skip two, one, two, insert hook into the single crochet and join with a single crochet. And again the same thing, one and two. Skip two, insert hook into the single crochet and single crochet. One, And two so we just put the fingers like this in the middle when we join because we want to insert hook again pull up a loop in single crochet okay this is the Solomon knot if you don't know how to work it okay I have two more one and two skip this two and insert hook into the single crochet and single crochet into it and now for this one that I have left here I just want one and turn so actually before I want to turn I want to work my two for the next row one and two and now turn skip two and single crochet and this is how we will continue on so as you can see it's so easy this is how we will continue on for the length that I will tell you I will be back with my scarf ready and we will work the second part the 
uh, actually jewelry part we want to give to this scarf a jewelry look like and we will so two 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 and we skip two and at the end we just work one that's all two skip two and I am at the end so here I just want to work one and before you turn just work the new the first two Solomon knots of the next row and now you turn and as you can see here we have three so we have these two these are the uh, two Solomon knots for the new row and we skip one and two okay so this is how we will continue I finished in length my scarf this is what I have it's about 80 centimeter length you can make it in between 80 and uh, 100 centimeter and now that I finished uh, I just want to insert hook in the middle of all my pairs so I have here my solitary one so in the middle of all my pairs into the single crochet and pull up loop now I go into the next and pull up loop I go into the next and pull up loop and into the last and pull up loop so now I will pull through all chain and cut the yarn okay and I will do the same thing on the other side actually I don't know I don't have here the scissors okay so on the other side I just want to do the same thing with this yarn though it's one hope I will succeed and it's two oops in doing it because I don't have left here a large tail so next and yes I have the last so I can do it hope so I can do it now I will pull through all just want to pull through all yes it's okay and okay you can do it even with the like this needle okay I did it I did it I did it but you can do it with the needle obvious that's no problem just do it okay let's go on with the second part so let's get started with the second part which is this one it's actually the necklace that we need to put now uh, for the necklace uh, we need two of these I already have one and what I want to say is that here I put only on one side uh, groups of three I'm working with wooden pearls but you can put any kind of pearls that you want so here I put only three groups of three uh, and for this you will need 12 pearls to string on your um, on your yarn before you begin with the necklace if you want to have three on one side three on the other side you will need 12 plus 12 which is 24 pearls to be string uh, on um, before we begin okay so here I put only like this and on the other side on the other one that I want to work now with you I will put uh, 24 so I will put on one side and on the other side okay so I put 12 and 12 so you can just play as you wish as you want okay so we begin with chain 2 and single crochet and now let us work our very first Solomon knot and for the flower we chain 5 insert hook into the single crochet and slip stitch now turn it like this insert hook in the middle of your chain 5 and slip stitch 
chain three. Now we begin with the petals, yarn over, we will work a puff stitch. One, two, three, and four. I work it only with four. Chain to secure plus chain three. And slip stitch to join for the for the first petal. Chain three, work your puff stitch, two, three, and four. Yarn over pull through all chain to secure a plus chain four. Okay, and we go ahead, chain three, one, two, three, four, yarn over pull through all chain to secure a plus three more. And we slip stitch to join. Okay, this is what we have. We have a half of our flower and this is what we need. I will just chain to block this and work my very first uh, very first Solomon knot. And here I want to put three of these beads. Block them with the single crochet, so like this, pull through two. And this is my first Solomon knot. Now I will work my second. We will always work two Solomon knots in between. And in between the first and the second, we put the group of three. And now I will repeat the same thing. Chain three, four, five. Now insert hook into your single crochet. Pull up a loop. Just be sure that it's not closed when you turn to work inside. Slip stitch into the chain three and begin with your three pairs. Uh, three pairs, sorry, three puff stitches. One, One, two, three, and we close it like this. One, two, three, and we just go ahead and Okay, and now the same thing. So I work my three patterns. Now I will work my Solomon knot, but I need three. So if you work with uh, with beads on one side and the other side, as I am working now, I just want to single crochet like this. Oops. So as I am working like like right now. So if you want to work with only on one side of the group of three, uh, we will complete, so you will complete with these three only on the, the second step. So you don't need to work them on the first step, into the first step, so as I am doing here. And I will show you how to complete on the second step, okay? But I think with six it's much better. We will see. And now I will continue on like this with three more flowers because I need to put five. So for each flower, not for each flower, actually uh, if you have five flowers you will put four plus uh, four uh, per three um, pearls if you want only one group or four per six if you want both sides okay if you so a a group less than the number of flower that you work actually yes that's it okay so i will just continue on i will work my second solomon knot and again chain five and so on 
I will continue on with three more. I am at the end and now I will work the other side. So I will Solomon knot one more time and insert hook exactly into the last flower that we worked. Slip stitched, slip stitch and chain three to begin uh, to work the other side of the flower, the, the other part to complete the flower with three more petals. This is the first petal that we are working on this side. Chain three and slip stitch to join. Let's go ahead and work our next petal, second petal, two, three, four. Chain, chain three more and slip stitch to join. Oops. Let's go ahead and work our third petal and last. And three and four. Pull through all, chain to secure and chain three. Okay, and now we Solomon knot and it's here that we will put the other set of three. Okay, so when we just close this and go ahead and slip stitch into the single crochet in the middle of the two Solomon knots of the previous. It's here. like this and slip stitch. Now a little chain and another Solomon knot and we just go into the next flower and slip stitch and we begin to work exactly the same thing and this is what we have. Okay, so I will complete all and then the last part, how to put them together, uh, the scarf and the necklace uh, to have the, the necklace uh, drawer. I finished and just one more Solomon knot into the first chain where we began we go, actually first single crochet and we just cut the yarn now, we can do it, cut them nice and long. And this is the first, this is the one with groups of three on one side and on the other side. And this is the one with groups of three only on one side. So as I said, this is up to you if you want it like this or like this. Anyway, this is how it looks. It's so, so lovely. And now we just want to put them uh, together. And just join these two. Insert hook into the single crochet here. And to be in the middle of it. And pull this through. So we can like this and then back here. So we can just join together like this. I can make a nice knot. It will be okay. And on the other side do the same thing with this. We just have them joined together. So I joined it with this kind of ends, cup ends. I don't know the actually the name for sure, but this is how I did. Actually, I'm here that I am just doing it. So it's really easy. I don't know if I can pass one more time through this 
how I think I can or I can't. Okay, anyway, no, I can't. Okay, anyway, this is how you can. This is a, a idea, but you can find so many others to finish it. You can put some tassels. I don't know, you can accessorize it um, as you wish, actually, so you can... Uh, put here another a row of only only pearls if you want to I don't know it's it's your creativity that can just uh, play let's say with this project with the, because it's so versatile and so beautiful now what I want to say is that you can work it for summer as for uh, winter this is it. Even for winter can be beautiful with a nice uh, thin yarn with some lurex in it. It would be just golden or you know silver uh, yarn in it. It would be just a lovely 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 accessory. I don't know. Uh, from my point of view it's just, just perfect even for a present, a nice gift. So think about it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, that's it. This is our project for today. Hope you enjoy it. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials. And of course, don't forget to uh, take a look on our yarn shop. You have the link below. So, see you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.